If you are familiar with DIY electronics, you may have seen TP4056 module a lot. But what is TP4056 exactly? What does it do and what doesn't? How does it work? How to choose legit product? Let's find out. TP4056 is lithium-ion battery charging IC made by Chinese company Papower. There are plenty of variations of battery charging module using this IC, but core features are not really different. Generally, you will be able to find two types of module from same seller. Module with protection IC and without protection. Without protection IC, it only provides overcharged protection. Protection IC provides over-discharge protection and overcurrent protection. So I will cover about module with protection IC in this video. Using this module is very simple. Connect plus terminal of battery to B plus and minus terminal to B minus. Connect low to out plus ground to out minus. To charge the battery, connect USB cable or 5 volt voltage source. According to datasheet, three different charging methods are used. When battery voltage is lower than 2.9 volts, chipset will charge the battery with only 130 milliamps. This is called trickle charge or recovery charge. It is needed to charge the battery without damaging it until it can receive high current. This makes TP4056 can charge over-discharged battery. After reaching 2.9 volts, TP4056 switches to constant current method and ramps up charging current gradually to maximum current, which is set by resistor to 1A. At 4.1 volts, it begins to reduce current. And finally, at 4.2 volts, it switches to constant voltage method and continues to charge until charging current drops to 130 mA. As I said earlier, there are many variations of module from different manufacturers. So I brought four different boards. All four boards have three similar chips, so you may not see difference when buying them. But I will show you them in details. First board has the marking 03962A on front and no marking on back. By looking at marking of main IC, we can tell it's a fake chipset or a knockoff chipset. Original chipset has a company logo on it, and it has DW01A battery protection IC and 8205A dual MOSFET. DW01A and similar IC provide over-discharge protection and overcurrent protection. I used this board many months, and it performed well. Second board has different components layout. I cut off the board's corner, so don't mind about it. No special marking on front, but it had description on backside too, and it also has marking. MH TP4056 Protect. It has TC4056A as main IC. TC4056A is knockoff of TP4056 but provides very similar performance at lower cost. And it also has DW01A battery protection IC and 8205A dual MOSFET. But their marking seems little off. In fact, there are many knockoffs of both DW01 and 8205. I used this board many months and it performed well even though all three chips are knockoffs. Third board has USB Type-C connector for voltage input and most of the PCB area is filled with copper. It has the marking 4056 on front HW-373 version 1.0 on back. It also has TC4056A as main IC and DW-01B for battery protection IC. 
I used this board for a while while charging words without problem. Overcurrent protection triggers even when current draw is low. You should stay away from buying this board and board using DW01B for battery protection. Last board is similar with previous one, but doesn't have marking on backside. It uses 4056H as main IC. It is knockoff like TST 4056A but optimized for 3.8 volt batteries. And it uses DW01-A for battery protection, 8205A as dual MOSFET. I used this board about a month and it performed well even with 3.7 volt batteries. Now you may think it is safe to use this board in all situations, but it has one critical issue. You can't charge battery while discharging it. The reason is TP4056 stops charging when it detects when charge rate falls below 130 million. If you have a load connected to a battery, then this will change the current detected so the TP4056 may never terminate the charging process. Easy solution is adding two shorty diodes at in plus terminal and out plus terminal. By doing this, you can draw current from power input instead of from battery. This is the way Slime VR community recommends due to its simplicity. There is better solution by the way. Attach P channel MOSFET and shotkey diode and register like this diagram. When charging current is detected, MOSFET will cut the connection between the battery and output terminal, making the battery isolated while giving input current to load. Last thing to talk about is temperature detection. There is a temperature detection pin on TP4056IC. This feature is generally disabled by connecting to ground. You can configure it by attaching resistors and NTC. Linked to detailed guide is at video description. That's all I brought for this video. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.